all jokes aside, let's be honest. <laughs> okay. Now, how are y'all taught to treat y'all men? Do do are y'all masculine or y'all are y'all feminine? Um, like how we were taught to treat our men. Like, say you're in a relationship with a man, right? Um, what are y'all are y'all taught to treat him like a king, or y'all just y'all run the show? Who runs the show in y'all relationships in Africa? It depends. Yeah. Okay. It depends. Relationships in Africa nowadays they are hectic. Sometimes you love that person who does not love you, just want to use you. So we have different kind of men here. In there are those who are responsible and there are those who are irresponsible. Yo, man, what's up, your boy, King of Travel, man? You know this. So, King of Travels, what's up with you in these relationship topics? My friend, you really don't need to be holding back. You're really raw and uncut. But I get it. What I respect about you is that you speak your mind about realities that people are facing. You need to be a relationship coach. <laughs> oh, man. They say the truth hurts, but... We'll also set you free. It's the King of Travel Talk Show with real experience, with real culture, and people across the world. Let's travel! Man, what's good? This your boy, King of Travel, man. You know, listen, I got a part of my channel where it could get controversial because when I come to these countries, I want you to understand something. I like to ask the people when it comes to the African woman versus American woman. That's my country. I don't know if they know much about it, but but I want to see where their mindset is at when it comes to the African woman. What are they taught and how to treat a man? You know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe fellas, one day you want to come to Africa and just see what's good. And hey, you know what I'm saying? Get your African woman, you know what I mean? So, But we got to see where their mindset is, how they think, and what's really going on. Listen, I'm not trying to knock American women. It is what it is. Don't take this personal, but a lot of y'all American women are damaged. You know what I'm saying? So just trying to like the brothers a little bit as they go to other countries and, and see what's popping off. You know what I'm saying? The king of travel, let's travel. Welcome to Worldwide Traveling off the Beaten Path News with Mr. Midas, the world traveler, a.k.a. the king of travel. Interviews with people with real experiences. Hey, let's talk about the reality we face, huh? And get out of the fantasy. Well, this could get a little controversial then. <laughs> All right. Mm, my name is Rita Anastasia. I'm 27 years old. She's 27 years old. Yeah. So this is my question I want to ask about African women and how they treat their man. Mm -hmm. Tell the truth, no lies, all jokes aside, <laughs> let's be honest. Okay. Now, how are y'all taught to treat y'all man? Do, do, are y'all masculine or y'all are y'all feminine? Like how we were taught to treat our men. Like say you're in a relationship with a man, right? Um, what are y'all are y'all taught to treat him like a king, or y'all just mm. y'all run the show? Who runs the show in y'all relationships in Africa? It depends. Yeah. Okay. It depends. Relationships in Africa nowadays they are hectic. Sometimes you love that person who does not love you, just want to use you. So we have different kind of men here in Africa. There are those who are responsible and there are those who are irresponsible. Mm. Yeah. So it's pretty much hard to maintain relationships in Africa, you think so? Oh, <laughs> nowadays I don't think if there is a serious relationship here in Africa. Most of the ladies here are single moms and uh, men are single dads because of breakups. We have early marriages, we get into marriages so early and then we don't understand each other. We have differences that we can't communicate. And then there is communication error between the two. Mm. So Even in Africa, you have communication <laughs> issues. I'm gonna tell you something what I learned coming from the US. And uh, communication is a big situation. Mm -hmm. um, if you can't communicate, what's the purpose? No. I might as well go talk to the wall right here. I get more off the wall than get out of person. So the thing is, is this, and I have learned this even to myself, mm -hmm. uh, coming from my country and trying to communicate with uh, people, it's almost like a blockage is there, like they don't get it. So I just, I'm a single man and I just live my best life now. 
Um, I don't want to really get serious with someone unless they really know the foundations of a relationship. Because I don't want to waste their time and I'm not going to waste my time. And I'm glad I got to this point in my life because I understand who I am fully. And you said the magic word. We start in relationships early when we don't even know ourselves. And that's why I made my mistake at too. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know that relationships, relationships consisted of not communicating. Because to me, communication is a big situation for me. And I didn't know that it, it was so hard for people to communicate. Mm -hmm. and, and so basically what you're saying, even over here in Africa, it's the same thing too. People have a hard time communicating, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, people have a lot of time communicating and they just want to be the... Okay. Yeah, the lies. Maybe you're in a relationship with someone, you want something, and then the, the African king doesn't want to accept that he doesn't have this thing. Now he gives you fake promises, and then it brings scandal again. Because you can't promise something that you can't give. Why promise something that you can't give? And mm. then the African women are wild. When you promise and you don't give, they get nah, upset. They get in trouble, yeah, because they get upset. Oh, man. You know what, so, and I'm going to say this, and you know a lot of guys is doing that to the females also, you know. Mm -hmm. They say one thing and do totally opposite. I don't know, but you know what I think it is? They hype the woman up to tell them what they want to get what they want. Yeah. It's like a car salesman, car salesman say, yo, this is the best car on the lot. But do you take it as soon as you go down the road, the whole car shut off. But that is fake love. That is not true love. Yeah. yeah. Because you're faking your personality for someone to love you. You should be realistic. Tell someone you're broke, you're like this and this. You're... Tell them the truth. Uh, yeah. But, but, and then, but, but you I know, in Africa, when you tell someone the truth, a relationship that lasts are these people that tell their partners the truth. I'm like this. Today you might come you're from work, things went wrong. But then this African king will not accept that. He is not a king. He will come and tell you, you know, this and this, it happened, but tomorrow I'll have this. No, you just have to be straight and tell be, be, be honest. Be honest. And so a lot of people, all they do is fake and tell you what you yeah, want to hear. Yeah, everyone around is fake. To get 100% real people is hard here. Mm, even in Africa. Yeah, we struggle in America with the same thing too. Mm. A big struggle in America. So this is the thing. I don't want to be, and I don't want females to, to think that I'm just knocking their hustle because men causing a lot of problems too. That's why I'd rather females express themselves and tell the whole truth on how they feel on every aspect of it. You know what I'm saying? Because we can't be biased and think one way. Just like you're saying, a lot of guys is making promises they can't keep. So they pretend to y'all lay this and they pretend to y'all lay that and none of what they say. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Welcome to Africa. So they lie in Africa just like they lie in America and every other country too. So you know what, fellas? Same time them women don't trust us is you got to understand something. We got to be real with ourselves too. Why y'all be faking relationships? Why y'all be telling women, I want this and I want that and I want that? Won't you be straight up on what you really want? And if you get rejected, you get rejected. Life goes on. <laughs> yeah, life goes on. Right. You feel me? I live by this code. I'd rather be real with you. I'd rather I deal with you. I don't mind getting rejected. If you tell me no because I kept it real with you, I feel good. Because you can walk right on away and we good. Mm -hmm. I got 99 problems and people ain't one. You feel me? Yeah. So that's real talk. But um, yeah, definitely so. Oh, man, that, that's real deep right there. And that's just coming from, you know, and I always speak about relationship topics into, into other countries and stuff like that. So what about the attitudes of the men out here? Are they very... Mm, the men here, when they have money, they become something else. The only humble men in Africa are men who don't have money. They are humble. But as soon as they get money, it's gone. Yeah. They brag a lot. They become the king, some of them. But there are those who are cool. Oh, but so. like 99% they brag they, they pretend to be the cool guys but they're not and they don't know how to spend money on important things what they like to spend money on is um, dressing to impress women and um, changing different kind of ladies that is their fantasy Mmm. <laughs> player, player. Yeah, player, girl. 
I said, playa, playa. <laughs> so soon as they get the money, they forget the relationship. Yeah, they forget the relationship and they start to, uh, going around wasting their money. And then when they finish the money, they come back to their girlfriends, you know, babe, this happened and this. And it's like, oh, mm -hmm. cut the crap. But the ladies here in Africa, most of them, they still go back to the same guys who had them in the heart in the baddest way. I don't know if uh, maybe their heart is made of metal or something, but we have that heart of going back, oh, you know, this guy did one mistake, we not repeat it again, and then when he repeats, oh, that is another mistake, you forget about the first mistake, the second mistake, the mm. third mistake, and when it comes to the fourth mistake, now the relationship is boom, over. It's done. It's done. Mm. Yeah, we try a lot. So like we take the mistakes, the mistake until it's over, until you're done. What about the cheating in Africa? So they cheat a lot, huh? No, oh, cheating is a, maybe it's, let me call it a talent in Africa. A talent in Africa. <laughs> they cheat for a talent. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, it's a talent. And this game of boys saying, you know, how many girls have you? So they're trying to compete on how many girls have they? Uh, uh, you understand? So, so it's called the Cheating like, Talent Show. Mm, cheating Talent Show. The Cheating Talent Show. God damn it. Let me tell y'all boys something. Man, let me learn a whole lot about Africa. They got something out here called a Cheating Talent Show. <laughs> but them guys walk around, see who got the most girls, how many gals he had, how many gals, and they just bragging wrong in a circle, huh? I had her. I had her. I had her. And everybody, huh? Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, so I'm gonna tell you the truth. I definitely learned a whole lot about Africa, and uh, you know, and 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 I'm glad to learn this because you know, coming from my country, that's one of the biggest um, things when it comes to my channel. I speak about relationships too, as being an international traveler, mm -hmm. and asking about people about their relationships that they face in their countries. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's definitely it's it's bad. It's bad no matter where you go. So now what I could at least say I can't just blame it on the U.S. I was thinking maybe just, you know, other cultures are a little different, but not in Africa, huh? Mm. Mm. Hold up, let me ask you a question. What kind of attitudes y'all African women got? <laughs> you know, um, it has come to a um, uh, state whereby African women, they now love men with money who are capable to take good care of them. Ah. Because they've tried to be with their men for a relationship it's done and then you're like i'm trying this guy doesn't have anything i want us to be somewhere but it's nothing when he gets money you think about other things so to be honest every african woman is looking for a king who can make her a queen mm. Mm -hmm. hear that looking for a king <laughs> that can make her a queen if you ain't got the money don't come see him honey and that's it you better have that money but you know what though i could definitely respect that at the end of the day and the reason why i say that mm -hmm. because um you know and you hate to say it's based on money but let's keep it real at the end of the day and that's this is what's happening in america yeah. a lot of women i gotta respect the fact that a lot of them are becoming independent so since they're becoming independent they're like they'll cut a man off in a minute so in a lot of cases, it's bad for men, but at the same time, I feel a pain because if you're dealing with a man that's not going to bring forth the foundation and keep you strong, yeah. what is the purpose? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Know? Yeah. Yeah. What he just give you one thing and after, after that, that's it. It's, it's more to life than that. So I could definitely respect that. Um, you know, as women starting to change the game, like, yo, I mean, hey, at the end of the day, you know, you got to... You know what I'm saying? You got money, money, money. Yeah. Shit, I'm not going to sit there and be broke with you. That mm -hmm. ain't going to happen. You feel me? Yeah, we need investors. We need investors. That's it. You keeping it real. The African <laughs> women say they need investors. No broke men. Investors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's real. That's real. That's real. I can respect that. But yeah, that's definitely a nice interview, man. So welcome to Africa, y'all. And we just talked about relationships in Africa. Anything else you want to tell the camera before we leave, though, Bob? Um, African women are hardworking when they get someone who can push them to their dreams. They work so hard and they become so rich and they start hating men. 
they become independent. Most of them are like single America. mom. They, yeah, they're single mom. They're taking care of their kids. All we need are investors, people who can make us be some, so, someone who can make you be somebody. So if your African women start making money, y'all cut the men off. Yeah, you just need that kind of person who will make you be somebody. Because if you're trying to make your yourself to be a somebody, and then you get someone who is just trying to be a nobody, an idler, you'll make it in life. So we are looking for real kings. And if we can't get the real kings, then we will be the kings and we will be the queens. We will rule our world because there's nothing more to do. Mm. Tell you something, she said it all, man. They looking for kings in Africa. So let me tell y'all something. If y'all in on that king status over here, man, and y'all can bring it to the table for these African queens, don't waste their time. You stay doing what you're doing and sit with the homies under the tree and enjoy your best life. Because when it comes to the African queen, they want, they want a real king. And that's it. They say they want investors. They keep it real. And one thing I got to do, I got to respect what she's saying. She's saying straight up. And one thing I like about people is when they can keep it real with themselves and how they feel. But a lot of African women been damaged. They done been through too much. So a lot of them just changing the game. Welcome to Africa. Welcome to Worldwide Traveling Off the Beaten Path News with Mr. Midas, the king of travel. Let's tour the world from resorts to some of the most dangerous hoods. Don't y'all want to see how the locals live? Let's travel.